Hi, I'm Vanessa from SpeakEnglishWithVanessa.com. Are you ready for a dictation? Let's get started. Today, I'd like to practice something new on this channel that we've never done before. It's called dictation practice. I know some people might have tried this in school before, maybe you had positive experiences, maybe negative experiences, but first of all, let's explain what it is and then let's do it together so that you can decide if it's helpful for you because I want to introduce you to new ideas, new techniques, and if it works for you, great. If you're not a big fan, no problem, you tried it. Let's talk about what is dictation. A dictation means that one person is speaking while someone else is writing exactly what that person is saying. So this type of practice is useful for listening skills and also listening for accuracy. Some people use this to improve their writing skills, but personally, I found that it really has helped my listening skills so that I know each detail of what the person is saying. So in general, with this idea, you need to have a piece of paper, a pencil, and your ears ready because someone, today that's me, is going to read a couple sentences and you need to write exactly what those sentences are. Make sure that you use capital letters in the correct places. Make sure that you use punctuation in the correct places. And most importantly, make sure that the words are accurate. That's the whole goal. You want to accurately hear what other people are saying. To help with today's dictation, I've brought a really popular kids book. Maybe you read this in your own language when you were a kid. This book is called, Oh, the Places You'll Go, and it's by a famous author, Dr. Seuss. Now, typically Dr. Seuss likes to create fun, imaginative worlds for kids, and usually his language is a little bit different. So he tries to make some fun words or create different sounds with words. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose some normal sentences, something that's close to daily conversation so that you can really practice listening and writing. Before we go any further, I recommend getting a piece of paper and getting something to write with. Pause this video, don't go any further until you can write and participate because I want you to try dictation and see if it works for you. Don't just watch me read it, but also participate. So go right now, get a piece of paper, get something to write with and participate. Are you ready? I'm going to show you first the picture. For this page, I'm going to cover the words because I don't want you to see them, but we're going to take a look here at this lovely picture. You can see a little guy over there. He's walking, he looks pretty confident. He's walking around kind of a crazy looking place. This is typical Dr. Seuss illustrations and writing. So I'm gonna read to you a couple sentences. One sentence, slowly. Then I'll pause so that you have a chance to write it. The next sentence, slowly, then I'll pause and you can write it, and I'll continue until we finish, only one time. And then I'll go back and read it a second time so you can check. Check your writing, check your listening skills, maybe some of these words you'd never heard before. Great. It's a good listening practice to see if you can guess. How are they spelled? How can you use this? So I'm going to start with the first sentence. I'll pause, you can write, and then at the very end, we'll go back and do it one more time so that you can fix anything that you didn't hear correctly. Are you ready? Let's start with the first sentence. You have brains in your head. Now is your turn to write. You have feet in your shoes.
you can steer yourself any direction you choose. So far, we've had three sentences. Let's read the final part and then we'll go back. You're on your own. And you know what you know. And you are the guy who will decide where to go. If you need some more time to write before we go back, it's okay. Pause the video. We're going to go back to the very beginning. I'm going to read them with a little pause, not too long, a little pause between sentences so that you can hear the sentence again, check your listening, check your writing, and then at the very end, of course, I'll show you the correct answer so that you can see how you did and if you'd like to continue this style. Let's go back to the very beginning with a little pause. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own. And you know what you know. And you are the guy who will decide where to go. All right, we listened to all of these sentences two times, kind of slowly. If you need to pause the video, no problem. It's here forever. You can take a look at it whenever you want. Now let's see the final answer. I'm going to show you the page and you can see and compare to your writing to see how it looks. Is it accurate? How is your spelling? How is your listening? Did you correctly hear each word? And maybe the words that you don't know yet, that you've never heard before, how was your guess? How did you guess that it was spelled? Let's take a look at the correct answer. Okay, here you can see the correct answer. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. And you are the guy who will decide where to go. How did you do? Maybe each sentence didn't stop at exactly the same place his sentence stopped. Maybe your punctuation wasn't exactly correct. That's all right. The most important thing is that you understood each word. Because if you're going to understand the whole meaning, you need to understand each word first. And in total, we can see this guy, <laughs> our friend here. He is deciding where to go. And that is exactly what you're doing with English. You are in control. You can decide where you go. You can decide if you improve your English, if you continue to study, if you spend valuable time learning and enjoying it. It's your choice. Enjoy English and decide for yourself. Thanks so much for trying this dictation practice with me and let me know in the comments below this video, what do you think about this extra listening practice style? It's good to understand general ideas, but this will help you with details, understanding each word. I read this pretty slowly, but I recommend the next step is to listen to your favorite TV show or someone who's speaking a little bit faster. And we'll see if your listening can keep up with that style. Start slowly like we did today and start to go faster and faster. And it will test your ears and help you to listen for details. 
So let me know in the comments below, what do you think? Is this useful to you? Would you like me to make more dictation videos in the future? Something slow like today, maybe faster. Thanks so much for trying it with me and trying something new. I'll see you the next time. Bye. The next step is to download my free ebook, Five Steps to Becoming a Confident English Speaker. I want to help you master English and speak fluently. Feel free to subscribe so that you don't miss new English lessons. Thanks so much for learning with me. Bye.